So I'm a forester in the Keen is my name, uh, a founder with Garrett Malulu who's here in the building here. You might see Garrett around the place. We founded Trimetrics in 2005 um, and we've developed a new and better way to measure and manage forests. Um, and we've got the product working now and we're out there selling it, out uh, providing the service over the last year. So this is the problem that, we, um, that we're tackling. It's, um, the traditional system of measuring a tree going around the forest with, a, with the calipers and the forester uh, collects all that data and measures some tree heights and looks up a book and it tells them what potentially the, the value of the forest is, what the contents of the forest are and, and then the, the sawmiller takes that information and throws it in the bin and gets his own guy out to measure it and they look at the straightness of the trees and the quality, the branching and they, they try to work out their value. And then, then the the machine goes in and starts cutting and it's only now that you really know what's in the forest but you've already sold the forest or you already have bought the forest but um, that machine uh, whilst it's a very efficient cutting machine it, it loses a lot of money and on average worldwide 20 percent of the value of the forest is lost at harvest time so its highest potential value is before you sell it or before you buy it and then you're 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 going to lose money because because the market may not just suit that particular forest, but you have to cut it anyway because you've bought it and you have to, you have to keep the sawmill happy. So it's a disconnect and it's, a, it's a, what we call a collision of interests. So if you think of the tree, as you go up the tree, um, the value to, uh, increases dramatically. So you, you start, or decreases, you, you start off at about $60 a, a cubic metre here or a tonne, $40 in the middle section of the tree and the top part is worth about $20. $20. That's typical around the world, these, these different diameters as you, go, as, you, as you go down the tree that takes the value. And that slope, that point there, varies dramatically in a forest. And then you've got the straightness. If the trees are crooked, uh, then the sawmill won't accept it as a $60 tree or section of the tree. So there's the straightness issue and then there's the branching quality of the trees. So tree metrics have come up with a completely new way and a better way. And finally, we've proven it's more accurate and, and a better way to, to do it. So we bring a, a 3D camera into the forest. This guy here is uh, scanning a, a, a section of the forest, a sample plot. That scanner takes about four minutes and then the data comes back to our office and we process it into this, uh, into this 3D model of the forest. And we have a cutting software that's able to basically cut the trees in advance and assign a value to the different sections of the tree. So, that's a, actually a section of a forest in Australia that was scanned by the forest owner in, in Australia and the data was sent to us here in Cork. We downloaded the, the 3D data and then our software automatically without any human involvement basically finds the trees and the, the user then can type in the different values and the different specifications of the different logs and cut the trees. So I'll just cut that into different log products. And each, each different section of the tree is worth different value based on the straightness. So I'll just zoom out there now and find one. It's that little section there, a waste, is of no use to anybody because it doesn't meet the specifications. That, sec that section of the tree there, what on paper was worth $60, is actually only worth $40 because of the crookedness of that section of the tree. So our, our software is trying to take all this subjectivity out of, uh, out of measurement and valuation and we give the forest owner an independent certified value of the forest pre-harvest and pre-sale. And now over the last year we've gone out to the sawmillers and we're getting a great reaction from the sawmillers. It turns out that they're tired of the old crap information and they want better and less risky uh, information. And we make all this data available into an easy to use web application and we charge our customers a price per cubic metre of timber that's measured and analysed through our analytics platform. We call this plat the product the forest warehouse, where you can actually describe your, your forest as a store of, of logs that are worth different amounts of money. So the user can log on as soon as they send the data to us here in Ireland, within 24 hours they can log on and actually select the logs that the market currently wants and the prices that those logs are worth and they can press the, the cut button and the valuation button and they get the analytics and the value presented to them. And um, yeah, we're very proud of the product. It's taken us seven years to develop it. We've got proven accuracy now in different forests around the world that it actually measures very accurately and it values very accurately. 
and we've gone out now to a lot of private forest owners, large private forest owners and sawmillers over the last year and we're getting business from them now, repeat business. Um, so yeah, we, we <coughs> were excited about the opportunity on that front and then we realised then that that machine, the guy that's on the machine, you were talking about performance and improving performance and, and uh, same thing with, um, with your forest. If the guy in the machine is having a bad day or, or uh, doesn't really care, he can turn a lot of that 60 euro product into 20 euro product without any control because he's 100 miles away up on the side of a mountain and nobody is monitoring. So now we've got a new product which it's in beta testing. We have 14 machines live in the forest. That machine that you saw cutting the tree, we have a, um, a satellite modem on those 14 machines around Ireland with a satellite modem and a mobile phone modem. And we got a, a grant from the European Space Agency to develop this product, which basically every tree that's cut, the GPS position of the tree and the logs that are made from those trees are transferred back to our database so that the the buyer of the forest gets real-time information as to what the value is and the owner gets real-time validated information as to what the, the, uh, the forest is worth. So it's like, a, like a, an online cash register for the forest owner to log on to and watch the money coming in, but we're actually keeping control of it and monitoring and making sure that there's not extra wastage. And that's actually a section of a Quilcher forest where the machine over the last couple of weeks is being tracked, every tree that's been cut and the associated products. So Treemetrics would have predicted what the yield should have been pre-harvest and now we're able to get the live. And if we see a big discrepancy in the amount of low value product being produced, we can go out there and investigate and uh, ping an email to the guy in the machine saying, we're watching you and you're, you're costing us money. <coughs> and then this final product is the, almost putting the cart before the horse, but we, we realized that the mapping out there in forestry is very poor. So we successfully reapplied to the European Space Agency to develop this web application which is a better, better mapping uh, system for forest owners around the world. So if you take Google Earth, it's very good data, uh, beautiful imagery of your forest and it's actually accurate, scale accurate. So now we're developing a web application where you can log on, if you're a private forest owner, you can log on to the TrueMetrics web application and you can actually map your forest and work out the variation of species and size. And that tells you where to go and collect your 3D data on the ground with our scanner. So that product is, is currently being developed in-house here as well. We'll have that ready by the end of the year with uh, an 800,000 euro grant we got from, from ESA to help us to develop that. So the, 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 the kind of synopsis of the product, we have the mapping solution, the scanning solution where you go out and you collect your samples and you're, now you have this trusted independent valuation which we've now thank, thankfully learned that the buyers of the forest are very happy with the data. And they, the, the business model is that the forest owner pays us to do this initial survey. And then the sawmillers, if they want to log on, instead of getting into their car and driving up to the forest, they can log on to our platform and value the forest from the comfort of their office with more accurate, independent information. And then you can see the, the, the flow of the, of the processing with the web services here where they can monitor then the, the actual reality. So we're hiding nothing from our customers. We're going to give them the real actual measurements because we're only sampling the forest. But now we're getting real-time recalculations as to what's actually happened. So that's, that's our, what we call closed loop control. So the company itself has uh, 15 employees, typically. Um, foresters, uh, software, hardware engineers, data mining experts, data analytics, optimization, um, the, what we mean by optimization there is that we can take in, say you have 50 forests to choose from, which tip, Quilcher would typically have in Munster, they have 100 forests to choose for every day, and they have different market demands coming in, different amounts of pulp market, different amounts of saw log markets, and we're able to better match their latest needs to the right forest. So we can make sure that the machines are in the right forest, given the current market demand, and that's a, that's a complex problem that we solve through um, optimization technology and just make sure you're in the right forests. Um, we have GIS engineers, telecommunications <coughs> with the satellite uh, system that we're developing. And um, yeah, data, data is our big, our big uh, we've got this unique data, so we, we've got a data expertise in-house. Big data for forestry is one of the, the buzzwords that we're using now out there in the forestry world. Uh, customers, we spent the first seven years surviving off, we'll call them grants and uh, small pilot studies with state forestry companies around the world which while state forestry companies they keep you alive they don't really scale your company but they, they definitely do get you soft money I call it to help you to stay alive to prove your product and to tr and well they're respected as well so the likes of Quilcher 
internationally or the, the state forestry company in South Australia who's one of our customers would have given us great support early days just to prove that the product works and that it's accurate and that the value is there and proving the value proposition but now we've got more traction over the last year going to private forest owners where business is you know critical profit is critical and decision is easily made you're not waiting for another trial or another study so that's that's been one of our routes to success is um, is going to the private sector and we're doing that with uh, sales representatives and ourselves so we've got a sales guy in the UK now working for us for the last year and he's getting us steady work now we have a guy signed up in Canada and we're, any other part of the world we're doing it ourselves jumping on a plane or doing a Skype we find Skype actually awesome tool to use for uh, for us based here so we're getting a lot of inquiries from around the world and we can quickly decipher whether they're worth uh, working with or not but as you can see there we're, we're very busy in Europe we're, we've just done our first job in Brazil um, and we're expecting our next contract our first ever contract in Africa in the next few weeks so yeah it's a it's a global market and we are world leaders of what we do to synopsize this is the advantages I use when I'm presenting at a forestry talk we've we have a world leading proven unique system now with, with, with unique value. Um, we've proven that we'll make you more profit if you're a forest owner or a sawmill buyer and you'll use less trees. We've proven that also that you'll commit less volume to keep your market happy. Certifying, there is, certifying what we say is in there is very important. So we've gone to private owners and they really want to know what are the errors in your predictions and they want Trimetrics to put their name on the dotted line to say that they can sue you if it's not right. But so, so we're prepared to do that, that um, and provide that independent, verifiable data, reduce the risk and uncertainty. A fair valuation is what people want. You know, they don't. You know, if you're if you're a price uh, price taker like a farmer, you just have to wait for the the, the mill to tell you what they think their your forest is worth. Whereas if you get in together as a group of farmers, like a, a producer group, all of a sudden you, you can now make prices. So our system is actually helping small forest owners to come together and be a bit more dominant and, and, and make sure they get a fair, fair price for their product. And it's a better marketing of the forest, better marketing of the forest product. And, uh, yeah, and we've learned over the last few months that we're reducing the cost for the buyers. So typically in Scotland, you'd have a sawmill buyer who visits maybe five forests but only buys one of them. So it's a lot of wasted time out measuring forests, driving in their cars, driving around the country trying to find that forest and not sure they're going to buy it. So we have a clear lower cost solution than the current model. So that's, that's three metrics. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions if you, if you want to? I think it was interesting what you said about the not having to cut too many trees. So mm. from a green mm. point of view again, that's, that's, that's going to keep a lot of people happy. Yeah, so they reckon you should have, uh, in the world today, you should have three propositions. Profit, um, people, so that people like using your product, and um, environmental proposition. If you have the three propositions, you have a great chance of success. Our, our proven, we've proven that, that, that you can actually commit less trees. So an example would be that you might have a customer who wants loads of pulp from the top of the tree. And, uh, but if you're in a really good forest, you've, you have to go down the tree into the higher value to keep that customer supplied. Um, and that's a clear, it's happening every day, but, but we can limit that by making sure they're in smaller, crappier forests to keep that customer happy, basically. And you're protecting the higher value until the market needs it. So, yeah. So it just came across there, right, that the, um, the, the return on, on investment of what somebody would invest in three metrics a multiple return is absolutely guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we um, were, I suppose, cocky enough to say we'll impre improve the profitability by at least 10%. Well, we've actually learned through over the last year as well that that's actually a, a too bold a figure. It frightens some people that they're losing that amount of money. Because if you think about it, they've spent so many years waiting for that profit and you're saying they're throwing away 10%. So now we're, we're, we're offering smaller little increments but the, the, the value, it's about 10% of the profit we're giving them is actually the number that we're now going out to say that our cost, we're, we're on par now with the traditional cost, which is another great milestone that we've reached. It's taken us a good few years to be able to say we can go in and compete with the man with the, ca with the calipers. And then we can add this extra value. So, so you're going to have a few annoyed drivers who were out a little bit hungover <laughs> the night before, yeah. cutting trees in the wrong place? Yeah, it turned out that we were worried about those people, but it turns out that they, 
they don't mind being monitored either. They, and there's other, there's other values too. They can log on, they can see where they are in the forest. They used to be, turns out they were a bit kind of disconcerted about not knowing where they were in the, in the forest and how much more work they had to do. And they'd, now you can set realistic targets for them on value and they'll chase that target. If you, it's like in your business when you're advising anybody, you have to have a target and you have to monitor them and give them realistic targets and incentives. And, and they actually, turns out they actually like the systems that we've developed. We've had very little pushback.